today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I should gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video, before the, um, the actual video comparing the, the RX 6600 XT versus the, the Vega 56 versus the 5700 XT, we have now this one of the Adrenaline 21.8.1. I know the drivers already came uh, some days ago, but since I, I have been testing the RX 6600 XT with stock OC and OC plus SAM results, I only managed to release the video now, okay? Basically, that's it. As I say in all my driver videos, 21 is the year 2021, 8 is the month, August, and one is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of August. If you follow my videos, you know that the 21.7.2 drivers, the previous ones, uh, actually gave some boost to the RX 5700 XT. So I will be testing also the 5700 XT today and the, the RX 580 with the 21.7.2 versus the 21.8.1. But well, let's go to the, to the release notes of the 21.8.1 drivers. Okay, first of all, we have support for the RX 6600 XT graphics. So this is actually the first driver that supports officially the RX 6600 XT. And if you try to actually install drivers on these cards previous to the 21.8.1, they won't work, okay? You won't be able to do it because they won't work. As for the fixed issues, we only have one fixed issue, which is strange and sad at the same time, which is the medium may crash after launching the game while running frame view, which is a really, really specific uh, bug that has been fixed. So basically these drivers uh, only bring the support for the 6600 XT while fixing almost no issues. I suppose that will come with a 21.8.2 or maybe some issues were fixed but, but aren't actually acknowledged by AMD because that, that happens a lot. Okay, as for the known issues, upgrading to the latest Radeon graphic drivers may cause the auto-update feature on Ryzen Master to stop working. A temporary workaround is to manually update Ryzen Master. While playing Control using DirectX 12, users may observe corrupt light rays on some AMD graphic products, such as the Radeon RX 6600 XT. Driver timeouts may be experienced while playing games and streaming a video simultaneously on some AMD graphic products, such as uh, the Radeon RX 5 100 series and yeah, basically that's it. Users may experience difficulties ending a recording session on open broadcaster software, so OBS, when recording in H.265 HEVC codec on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 6800 XT. And basically that's it, we have some issues with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and we have the mighty enhanced sync may cause black screen issue that has been happening for over one year. So basically, yeah, that, that's it. These drivers mostly bring the 6600 XT support and fix one or two issues, in this case only one officially, but I heard some people telling me that uh, the issues, some issues they had in the 21.7.2 were actually fixed with the 21.8.1. So officially, we only have one fixed issue and we have several, several, of known issues that are acknowledged to be fixed in the future but well there are way more way more known issues than fixed issues so that's that's not a bad thing but definitely not a good one and yeah basically that's it since the drivers don't bring anything new per se well in my own experience with the 6600 XT that you can see videos here, for example, with the 25 games on Ryzen 5 5600 X and the RX 6600 XT, the only issues that I have on the first driver, which was this one, the 21.8.1, is actually that in some scenarios when I'm, when I'm playing some games, um, 
the um, actually the FPS may decrease and the power draw will also decrease because that's a bug and the FPS will decrease in some scenarios when I am changing resolution so if I actually play the game and maintain the resolution it will be fine but since I was testing and, cha and changing resolutions uh, all the time um, sometimes it happens that uh, the game FPS will just sink completely and you need to actually um, to actually close the game restart the game and then the FPS will be fine as they should be but this is a bug that will be fixed uh, it isn't it isn't it doesn't seem like it is acknowledged now but I think it will be fixed in the future in the future since I am already giving you um, the problem here so I'm saying what the problem is <laughs> whatever And yeah, basically that's it. No blue screens, no black screens, performance is fine. Um, more or less the same for the older cards. A bit more, a bit less, I mean, with the 5700 XT. A bit less than it should compared to the 21.7.2. So if you're using 5000 series cards, I advise you to pick like 21.6.1 or the 21.7.2, which is the best driver in terms of performance for the 5700 XT so far. But if you want a golden driver, in my opinion, or at least one of the two golden drivers for all cards, uh, at least the cards that support those, not the 6600 XT that, that you need, the 21.8.1 and above, go and pick the 21.3.1 or the 21.4.1, which in my opinion are the best drivers you can get right now. This in terms of stability and performance. So. For an overall, let's say, uh, experience, pick these drivers, 21.3.1 or 21.4.1. And well guys, that's all for today's video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Let's go to the performance benchmarks and don't forget, next video will be the Vega 56 versus the 5700 XT versus the 6600 XT. And guys, you will be surprised. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here?